Okay. Um. Alrighty. So, gonna be playing full throttle remastered. Yeah. The third and last LucasArts adventure game to be remastered by the Wolfine. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, yeah. It's been a while since I actually played this. Uh, the cutscenes can be laggy. They were uh, pretty laggy for Day of the Cynical. So I wouldn't be surprised at all. In fact, I remembered it being a lot worse than Quick Roll. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rick Berger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Berger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. It's a little bit of a delay. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, like, their mouths right up to our shareholders meeting talking. with a gang of Where bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. It's what's between them that scares me. Yeah, they got some band to the music. Actually, not too bad, eh? Oh, and like the other ones, if you push F1, it can look like the old version, which is obviously a lot more graphic, because this came out like. 1995. Now, there's I'm not going Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. 
and if we gotta make switch between all the new rooms now because relax i have a feeling I'm something's sure coming our way something big The end credits to this, by the way, are hilarious. So, like, they're really long, but if you stay to the end, hey, you better stay hilarious. out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove well, 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 Right, something happens. Huh? Okay, let's see what happens if I go to the menu and then back. Hello? Can't save it, so. Yeah, come on. Can't even skip it. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart this, which would be really annoying. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna. Okay, don't worry, okay? I have an idea. New game. Then... I skip this. Oh, I just see this. Okay, because there's two cutscenes, so we can just skip this one. Hey, Ben. Okay. You know, Ben, we're broke. Okay. Yeah. We already saw this. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. Huh? I have I a feeling something's oh, coming no, our way. Something big. Yeah, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. Okay. This place is bikers only. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? Okay, good. Let's go. Please. Okay, good. Maybe old man Corley okay. got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Ritberger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it. I'm gonna... F Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Okay. Seriously. Okay. I 
like this room is great though, we're not queuing to get past the opening cuts. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy, he's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry, I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Ripperger. The polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's your last word. That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <laughs> <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill Hill! Here we go. There was the audio delay again. Okay, so the cutscenes are over. I hope. Okay, yeah. Uh... Next, I'm not playing on PlayStation. I'm playing on keyboard. Yeah. Okay, so the control scheme is different. Actually, no, actually, no, it is actually very similar to Day of the Tentacle Remaster, just different from the original Day of the Tentacle. Basically, in both versions, it, it goes like this. You see, eyes, a mouth, hand, foot. It's just the difference when it gets converted to HD. Nothing actually to do here, so let's go. It's already so like this is my bike. If I want to ride it, I can do either hand or foot. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Well, that makes sense. I wouldn't like it either. Open up. You see, if that doesn't work, then you can kick it. And you're on. I, uh, fixed your door. Your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. I can try to play the piano. Yeah, right. It's hard enough to play with your fingers. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well what are you gonna do about it? Question. What do you have? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. No. 
You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. The bar. Oh. Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing. Nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the polecats? I'd better get moving. Okay. Oh wait, that's the one that I meant. If I push shift, all like the things I can interact with blow up. I can use these now. Yeah, it's in my inventory. So I can use it on the other side for now. My inventory is the stuff I have. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. Except for this cutscene, I should probably stop. No one can stop me. It's a long. But they try. All the cutscenes are long. Oh, by the way, don't worry. After this cutscene, I'll be actually um, playing for a long time. Okay. Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah. You're in my way. This happens a ton during this. Well, get used to it, bud. When rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens! Whatever will we do? Ha <laughs> ha! That does it. Come on, kitty! Let's get down! Now, I can attack. The, the beginning on this is really easy. I you can just spam hit. And you want to make it again. Because there's this whole section where all you do is like do that food. And like it's super laggy and really annoying. Some help, I suppose. Ah, uh, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's... My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. 
The reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to Maureen now. Who are you? Bronx. Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Yeah, you'll find out why. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, no one leaves not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person. I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You can start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. How's it look? Aren't you paying attention? We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a meat farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. We got to pick up this gas can and this hose. And that's it. Okay. So yeah, I'm back for part two. That one. That part was mostly just... A few annoying laggy cutscenes. Back to part two. Alright, so we're ready, so. 